Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and today it's going to be you looking at the Times Quick Cryptic for today and uh, I'll try and provide some help to show that you can manage it. So we'll start with one across. It says eight letters gazing outside Carvery in the centre, very hungry. So it looks like we're looking for a word meaning gazing. It's probably going to be seven letters and we're going to put that outside um, Carvery in the center. That's the center letter of Carvery probably. So we're looking for a word meaning gazing to put outside V and then the whole thing to mean very hungry. So think of an eight letter word meaning very hungry with a V in it and you may have come up with ravenous but if you didn't it would be better to come up with starving which has the V in staring. So fairly decent start there. Next one, couple I came upon heading west. And here we've got, um, we're going to need an answer, four letter answer that means couple in some sense. Um, it's probably better to start with the word play on this one. So we need a phrase that means I came upon. And heading west means it's going to head from right to left or from east to west in the grid. So it's going to go backwards. So if we can think of a four letter phrase that means I came upon and then we're going to reverse it and hopefully it'll mean a couple. Or rather, in fact, sorry, I've misled you slightly. We're going to use I and then we're just going to use came upon, a three letter word, and we're going to reverse that. Um, the clue could have meant either, but that's what it means in this case. And the answer is item. So do remember to pause if you want a bit more time to think about the, uh, the clue and the hints. So one down, problem over a style of wrestling. Now here it would be helpful to know that over can be abbreviated to just one letter for cricket purposes, I think. And um, so we need a three letter problem and that one letter meaning over, and it's gonna all mean a style of wrestling beginning with S. And the answer is sumo. And then two down is <coughs> imposing area in Georgian city. Now here we're looking for, um, I don't know for sure actually, I don't know quite where we're going because um, although I can think, oh yeah, we're looking for a word meaning imposing and then an abbreviation for area, it's one letter again, and the whole thing to mean a Georgian city, and that could be the country of Georgia, former Russian Republic, Soviet Republic, sorry, or it could mean the state of Georgia. And the answer is not, in fact, Atlanta, which is the largest and capital, largest city and capital of the, of the state of Georgia, but it's another place there where they play the US Masters, Augusta, which begins with imposing, august, and then has a. Three down, a VIP accent I made out in team member. Well, all those suspicious letters, we've got a V in the answer. We need 11 letters and it looks like, therefore, we're going to make out, we're going to somehow make the answer out of a VIP accent I. So we need all those letters and we're going to look for a team member beginning with V, four hyphen seven. So good luck if you spotted that, that can be vice captain, normally a team member anyway. Now four down, stockings new, only ruined by sun. Now there's not that many words that can mean stockings and we're looking for an answer that means stockings begins with N, six letters. And here we've got new is a one letter abbreviation as is sun at the end and in between we have the word only ruined, so turned into an anagram. And the answer is Nylons. Well done. Now six down. Flavour containing hint of walnut in a manner of speaking. So the hint of walnut is a W. Just the first hint of the word walnut is the letter W. And then we put that into a manner of speaking. So no, we put that into a flavour, sorry, a four letter flavour beginning with T. Now, it probably won't be a specific flavour, but a word meaning flavour. 
and we get a manner of speaking and that one is twang so seven down reflect upon friend taking rewrite on board now there we're looking at um, probably we need a seven an eight letter word beginning with M meaning to reflect or reflect upon um, we're going to need a friend that's a probably a shortish word meaning friend beginning with M and we're going to have to put inside that so taking on board and into that word a short word meaning rewrite so we're looking for a short synonym for rewrite or rewrite and we're going to put it in a short word for friend beginning with M and the answer is meditate to reflect upon something so we'll go to the acrosses now. We've got lots of help now for the acrosses, and that's the great thing about getting a start. We can probably guess what eight across is going to be just from the grid here, M something G something C, and the answer, the, the clue proves that very quickly. Wonderful conjuring, five letters, magic, double definition there. Nine across, line with an enclosure, cord round one's neck. Well, again, the letters are very helpful. Cord round one's neck is a very clear definition for the whole answer. Line can be the letter L, as in poetry, and then an and an enclosure. And the answer is lanyard. Well, yard is the enclosure. So 11 across, again, you're probably going to be able to guess this from the letters we've got. Um, especially as the software now helpfully provides the breaks in the words of a 6-5 phrase. Clairvoyance, that's a pretty clear definition as well, of backer before quote read out. And the answer is second sight because a backer is a second as in a dual and quote read out gives you the sound of to sight, C-I-T-E, or to quote something. So, moving on with the acrosses, 13 across, irritable secret agent, snatching quick kip. So we need a short word for a secret agent, holding a short word for a quick kip. The whole thing to mean irritable, and the answer is snappy. Three chances of thinking of the right synonym there, nap in spy, giving snappy. Now, 14 across, we've only got... Um, a T at the end of the six letters. It says issued suitable clothes. So we're looking for a short word for issued followed by a short word for suitable um, and the whole to mean clothes. This is a bit harder than some of the ones we've just been looking at but the answer is outfit. Issued is out. If a magazine's been issued it's out and suitable can be fit as an ad adjective. So now we go down to 10 down, and I think here we're going to need a little bit of uh, general knowledge. Funny name sounds about right for a popular aria. So given the N something S something U something, you might be forgiven for thinking there aren't many words that fit that. And if you were thinking certainly not many English words, then you'd be on the right track. So we need a popular aria. It's in its original language, and it's an anagram of name sounds with R for right stuck in it. And I guess amongst the arias that the British public might be expected to know are Ness and Dorma, made particularly famous by Pavarotti during the Italian World Cup about 30 years ago, I don't know, quite a while ago now. 17 across, a rude beggar, silly. So we're looking, I think, at an anagram of a rude beggar. Silly means make something silly out of it, Ch churn up the letters there. To harbour resentment, so a phrase 416, we know the one is an A, and if we play with those letters we should be able to get bear a grudge. Well done if you did, let's keep trying the acrosses, might not work now. Saying few words, so that'll be the definition, we need a seven letter word with an N in fifth, meaning saying few words, endlessly beat a cheat inside. Well, well done if you came up with the um, synonym for saying few words that fits that. And the answer is laconic. 
And the reason that works is because beat is lick, and that endlessly becomes L-I-C. And if you put a cheat, a con, inside that, you get laconic. Quite neatly created. 21 across, splendid, beer knocked back. Well, knocked back is going to mean that we need a word for a beer, five letters ending in R. We're going to turn it backwards and get a word meaning splendid. Have a think, and well done if you came up with regal, which is lager knocked back. Now, 12 down, from the uh, letters in the grid, we might be able to make a guess at this. It looks like a name to me. I might be wrong. One's label confused a girl, or well, the girl is the one with the name. We're looking at one's is I, S, and then an anagram of label and A, and that gives us Isabella. Fairly straightforward clue again. As usual, the letters in the grid, and there they were all consonants, help a lot. Now 15 down, we could make a guess at what that's going to be. There's two or three possibilities I can think of. Um, but let's have a look at the clue. Goods about to be put in box. That's reasonably clever because it looks like it's about crating of goods. But in fact, the box here is a verb. So we're looking for a, a verb synonym for box. So to um, what boxes do. We're going to put a word meaning about into it, a short one. And that's going to mean goods. And the answer, quite helpful to have these letters in the grid, is freight. We put re and fight, and we have therefore put about in a box to get goods. 16 down, one consulted for advice, nothing clear surprisingly. Well, nothing can often be the letter O in crosswords, so then we need an anagram of clear after that to get one consulted for advice. And the answer is oracle. So we're progressing very neatly here. Race course in Nova Scotia. Well, there's normally a hidden in these crosswords, and the answer is hidden in plain sight in the phrase Nova Scotia there. And we get the race course out of it, and that is Ascot. Well done if you got there without any help. Slight scout leader unknotted ropes initially. Well, there initially is telling us to look at some initial letters might be just one or it might be several. So see what you make of the definition of slight. And the answer is slur from the initial letters of scout leader unknotted ropes initially. Now we've just got the bottom row to go. Singer, off key a lot. Well, it's just a straightforward anagram of a lot, meaning a singer. And that's clearly alto, not many things it could be otherwise. And 23 across, put off drinking tin gets bottle. So we're looking for a bottle that fits this pattern of blank E, blank A, blank T, blank R. And we need a word meaning put off, drinking a word meaning tin to prove that. And have a think about the last answer. And in goes decanter, which is can in deter. So congratulations if you are following all that. Congratulations if you were front running it and getting the answers before I was telling you, or uh, even with the use of the pause button. Fairly straightforward puzzle as the quick cryptic so often is. Quite good fun to do. And um, thanks very much for following Cracking the Cryptic. Hope to see you again. Bye now.